how to install seats in the second row for a 2019 or 2020 Mercedes Sprinter. So um, you gotta have some seat brackets. So they're the uh, OEM ones. Um, I don't know how you would do this without the, the OEM brackets, but assuming you have the brackets, and the seats from, you know, for instance, like a crew or a sprinter uh, with a passenger setup, you know, then you basically place the brackets wherever you want them. Um, but you gotta be really sort of mindful of uh, a couple of things. You know, one, obviously there has to be some distance, you know, between the front of the brackets uh, where the seats are gonna end and then the front of the driver's seat. Um, and then a couple of other things, you know, when you place them, they do have a front and a rear, which um, we didn't really realize in the very beginning. And we installed them all backwards, which was an absolute pain because this little um, beam here, remember, or whatever this is called, um, is a little bit slimmer than the other one. And so when it comes to the mechanism uh, that actually latches on, this will only latch into the slimmer one of those. The rear one just hooks in, so it doesn't really matter, but um, yeah, keep in mind this one bigger than this one. So assuming you have these all placed correctly, right? Um, they should obviously all be in, you know, one straight line all the way through. Otherwise the seat is not gonna go in. Then these brackets already have pre-drilled uh, pre holes in a couple of spots. And now you think you can just go, you know, straight through um, but then the problem uh, continues sort of on the on the other side, um, on the on the underneath uh, of the van. So you have you have three spots where they come out. So there is um, this first one. They come out underneath this beam, which you can see is is pretty darn long. And I'll put um, sort of a note with this. That, uh, that tells you the length so you know what kind of screws to get, right? So the first bench is gonna come out here. Um, this one is probably the easiest one um, because you can place them anywhere, right? Um, there's no other obstructions here or anything like that. So you basically place your brackets up on the top wherever you want them. And then you can use the pre-drilled holes from those brackets and then just mark those spots and go straight through. Uh, you know, obviously try and make sure you go in a uh, straight line from the top to the to the bottom hole uh, but the other great thing about this uh, the you know the rightmost seat bracket position is that you can actually um, measure it and you can just drill one hole from the top down and then the other one from here so what else we did is we just cut together and this is just kind of loose right now so obviously we'll tighten it uh, but we cut off these um, we, we, we cut these off just like a long uh, steel strip basically uh, just two inch uh, two inch wide and then we uh, drill the hole through some just plates just to give it a little bit more stability than going with the, the screw um, and this uh, spring washer directly onto the the beam just to give it more stability so we cut six of those actually one for each of the two spots as you crawl underneath and I'll show you those in a second um, you know, so, so the right bracket is easy. You just go through the screw, you know, put, put this bracket in here that you make a spring washer and a nut. Um, we're actually gonna, um, replace these screws. These are just here and temporarily. We're gonna uh, get some stainless ones. We had to order them online just because they're not available in the uh, hardware store. Okay. So this is the easiest one. Now let's look to the next position. So here you can see how things are going to get annoying. So this is the middle seat so on the middle seat all you have is this this is directly underneath the floor so it's easy to drill the holes but what you can see here is you have these other like cross members going through so you're really limited as to uh, as to, you, to where you can drill unless you want to go through these which you can obviously but um, regardless you're gonna have to drill um sort of custom holes into the spaces in the brackets where you're going to put the screws through um you know you can come through here you can come straight through here we just decided to go through here the uh the middle bracket of the seat actually appears 
to be you know less weight uh, bearing than the than the side ones it doesn't even clip in on the front um, you know it obviously it, it rests on a little thing I'll, I'll show you in a second on the bottom of the seat um, in the front and then the rear is you know just kind of hooked in but so yeah here you've got same setup here and then same setup in the front uh, you know you can see right here it's a little bit annoying to try and fit it just because you've got all sorts of other crap and like uneven surfaces right so uh we put it this way again it's just it's just kind of loose right now because we haven't tightened it down we don't have the right screws yet all right so now um i'll show you really quick that just the middle seat inside and then i'll go to the other side and uh show you the the most annoying part so here's what i was talking about for the middle seats you see the sides so this is on the right side and on the left side you know these in the front just clip in um into the front of the bracket here but in the middle seat you know it simply has this guy uh that it rests on and then it hooks it on the back just like all of them um and the the front latches you know they just unlatch easily um using this pull cord that you can see right there you can just easily operate it um from behind the seat so let's go over to the driver's side and this is the most annoying part so where the bracket sits inside the van is right above this long beam or member or whatever it's called and you can see that the fuel tank is sitting right underneath it so it's actually the fuel tank is sort of flush against it meaning you have no room for um, screws, nuts, anything to come out. So what you need to do is you need to actually lower this tank. And the way I did that is I put uh, uh, the jack from the car just underneath it. Um, I actually went back, then middle, then front, and I just did this very, very slowly. So I put the jack underneath the car, um, put, a, uh, put a wooden board on top of the jack, tighten it against the tank, and then unscrewed each of these screws. You know, I started in the back, but I suppose it doesn't really matter. So I um, undid each of the OEM screws that were in here that, uh, that it came with installed. They're very short. They're all, uh, as it turns out, metric, gosh, I hope I remember this right, metric 10, 1.5 pitch. Um, pretty sure that's what they were. But, you know, they would only go until like here. So we got longer screws. You've got sort of unlimited space in, the, in there. Um, there is a captive nut um, for each one of these. Um, you know, screws um, inside of this beam. So it's really easy to do uh, once you figure this out. But basically we got these one inch spacers uh, and a different screw uh, and a spring washer. And just, so each one of these uh, on both on this side, but then also on the other side of the tank, you know, you can sort of see through on the other side. You know, you just go one screw at a time, lower it. When you, once you have it lowered, you know, the tank is going to be um, about an inch away from the top, so it's not going to be tight anymore. So we cut pieces of this um, sort of microcell styrofoam. You can sort of see it there. It's, uh, it's super, super firm. I don't know if I can reach it to touch it, kind of poke at it, but you can see it in the back as well. Um, I just stuck them in there. Uh, one inch is fine. Uh, you know, the, the gap in the middle there is, is uh, a little less than one inch. Uh, distance between the top of the tank and the bottom of that uh, of that beam that you can see this rest on you you'll figure that out pretty easily you know just get like a really really uh, firm styrofoam microcell type stuff um, cut it into pieces you know I did like two inch wide by you know maybe four or five inches and then I stuck stuck them in from this side one there one there and then from the other side as well um, and then tighten the screws. I still have to do some in the front. I just, uh, I don't know, kind of got lazy. Uh, but I'll still do that once we uh, swap out the, the screws that, uh, that hold in the seat brackets. Um, once you have those in, you know, tighten all these screws down and then the tank will be in really, really uh, sturdy. The other problem is here on this side, um, you can't drill from the bottom against it because, you know, the tank is like, you know, flush against the the side so you know i guess you could take the tank off completely and then you can drill from the bottom against it 
um, but we didn't you know in the front here we did a pretty good job you know we put a we actually had this uh, the same metal or, or steel sheet that we used for these brackets that we made we put that underneath it just to protect the tank in case we go through um, you know we had to drill from the top all the way down in a straight line here we did a pretty good job uh, you know you can see this is fairly well centered uh, here we did a terrible job um, you know you can see how uh, the screw comes out quite to the side so the screw is quite crooked uh, it's not the end of the world it still fits it doesn't obstruct the like seat bracket and it's pretty sturdy so um, you know it's not a not a like concern in terms of uh, of it holding it's just it's just not great uh, and we needed to you know drill the hole that we usually drilled in these brackets in the center we just needed to drill it off to the side um, but yeah so now all three brackets are in um, it took an incredible amount of measuring um, and re-drilling holes um, but finally this is done and uh, I'll just point out one more thing that I found really helpful so one of the problems that we found um, is it's really difficult to measure the distance um, from you know these uh, these uh, I, I don't know what to call these right these things in the bracket that the seat's gonna rest on right that needs to be in one straight line all across so we found it really difficult to measure because the seat here you know if you measure from here to here you know it's a it's a, it's a different distance than in the middle you don't really have like a like a great point to measure from so what I did is I actually put a uh, a, a, a giant metal ruler that we have all the way across and use that as sort of a, a backing to like back a, a different ruler up against it uh, it's actually a, a right angle kind of kind of ruler um, that way we got that distance right um, gosh it took a lot of just measuring where exactly we would need to make our holes you can see here you know we we had to do it a couple of times but um, now it's in and it's sturdy and here we just use these, these are the washers that came with some sort of like plastic little brackety things that were in the OEM brackets. Uh, we tossed those, but we kept the, the washers. You know, I don't really know why, I guess just because we had them, but we put another washer underneath it anyways. So yeah, and now the seats uh, go in just fine. Um, you know, we'll tighten this down once uh, we have the other screws, but for now it holds, seats go in uh, really, really well. Um, yeah, it's just a, a absolute pain in the butt to do and uh, much easier with the earlier sprinters uh, where you already have captive nuts in the floor, um, you know, that you just have to kind of measure and find. Uh, I would say for us it wouldn't have made a big difference because we needed to put these seats as close to the front as possible um, because we are fitting five people sleeping into a 144, which is a challenge in and of itself. And uh, uh, yeah, so I hope this is helpful. Um, good luck if you're doing it. Uh, it's, uh, it's quite a bit of work, more than expected. It took us, um, took us about two days, you know, I suppose, had we known how to do it. Um, it could be done in a few hours. It's just the measuring and the, the cutting of these brackets and then drilling the holes correctly is, uh, is a pain. It's a lot easier if you know that there is a front and back to these brackets. So make sure the skinny one goes in the front on all three, otherwise you're gonna have a uh, regretful moment um, when you think you're done and you try and put the seat in and it just doesn't fit and then you realize um, you installed your seat bench backwards. All right, good luck.